You know what's crazy? Nobody tells you how broke you'll feel when you first start learning cybersecurity. Like, yeah, you want to become a hacker, but meanwhile, your PC keeps crashing like it's emotionally unstable. Your terminal errors are judging you. Your VM freezes every time you open Burp Suite, and your Wi-Fi adapter disconnects more often than your fake friends. And the best part? You spend more time fixing your operating system than actually learning hacking. Kali breaks, Parrot breaks, Windows breaks, and somehow you blame yourself like you're the problem. Before we jump in, make sure to hit subscribe and smash that notification bell. Because if you think hacking is confusing now, wait till we dive deeper. Like, trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. And tutorials? Oh, don't even get me started. Half of them are outdated. You search how to hack a website and end up watching an eight-year-old video with a guy typing commands that don't exist anymore. Your tools don't match. Your results don't match. Your confidence doesn't match. But still, you keep going. You mess up, reinstall, break something, reinstall again, question your life choices, doubt your entire future, then see one cool exploit work and suddenly you feel like Mr. Robot's lost cousin. That's the hacker journey. Confusing, chaotic, painful, exciting, addictive. And the biggest question beginners always ask is, can I actually make money doing this? The short answer is yes. The long answer is what you're about to hear. So let's jump into 10 ethical ways to make money as a hacker. Bug bounty hunting. Bug bounty hunting is like going treasure hunting in a digital jungle. You're out there fighting HTML, JavaScript, APIs, WAFs, rate limits, and your own mental stability. But when you finally find a real vulnerability, not the imaginary ones you wish were real, the payout hits differently. Companies pay you for bugs that protect millions of users. Sometimes it's $50, sometimes $5,000, and sometimes life-changing. You jump into platforms like HackerOne, Bug Crowd, Integrity, Synac, and Yes We Hack. Places where people make thousands by finding real vulnerabilities in real companies. It's not easy. You'll spend hours chasing ghosts, testing payloads that don't work, getting duplicates that break your soul, and watching someone submit the bug three minutes before you. It's competitive, brutal, and requires patience, but every hacker remembers their first bounty for Ever. Number two, penetration testing. Pen testing is hacking with a salary, a job title, and no police knocking on your door. You break into systems, escalate privileges, pivot through networks, write reports, and help companies fix their flaws. You're basically a digital locksmith who tells the owners how criminals would break in. It's one of the most respected roles in cybersecurity and one of the highest paying when you level up. Companies love pen testers who think creatively and break things elegantly. Number three, freelance security audits. Not every company needs a full-time hacker. Some just need someone to check their website, cloud setup, or API security. That's where freelancing becomes gold. You can offer services like security review, basic penetration testing, OSINT footprinting, or even server hardening. If you're good, clients come back. And the best part? You build your reputation project by project. No degree, no corporate interviews. Just pure skill. Number four, malware analysis and reverse engineering. This is the deep, dark, intellectual side of hacking. You take malicious software, dissect it like a surgeon, understand what it does, how it hides, how it spreads, and how to stop it. You become the person companies rely on when a new malware strain hits the world. This field pays crazy high because almost nobody wants to open a malicious exe file and stare at its behavior for hours. But if you enjoy digital puzzle solving, this path becomes incredibly rewarding. Number five, threat hunting. Threat hunters are the ghosts inside a company's network, silently watching everything, looking for the smallest sign of an attack. You chase anomalies, weird logs, suspicious IPs, strange user behavior. You're basically Sherlock Holmes for cybersecurity. Skilled threat hunters get hired fast because every company fears what they can't see. Number six, SOC analyst work. Being a SOC analyst is like being the firefighter of cybersecurity. Alerts go off, incidents explode, logs flood your monitor, and you're the one who has to make sense of the chaos. It's one of the most solid ways to start making money early in your journey. While others study theory, you handle real attacks, real malware, real intrusions, and build real experience. Number seven, creating cybersecurity courses. If you can explain hacking in a clear, simple, human way, people will pay. Beginners want someone who understands their struggle, not someone who talks like a textbook. Whether it's YouTube, Udemy, Patreon, or your own website, teaching becomes a powerful income stream, and every course you publish becomes a passive source of money long-term. Number eight, writing cybersecurity blogs and guides. Tech companies, security startups, and cyber news sites love writers who understand hacking. You can write tutorials, break down 
breakdowns of new vulnerabilities, malware analysis summaries, OSINT guides, or explainers on tools. You can submit deep-dive technical articles to places like pentester.land, infosec write-ups on Medium, Hacker Noon, Free Code Camp News, or guest posts for security companies that pay per article. Bug bounty write-ups, CTF walkthroughs, malware breakdowns, OSINT case studies. People love content that teaches real skills. Good writers get paid extremely well because clear communication is rare. If you can write like you're talking to a friend, this becomes an effortless income source. Number 9. OSINT Investigations OSINT is legal spying, finding information online using public sources. Companies, journalists, and private clients hire OSINT specialists for background checks, threat investigations, digital footprint analysis, fraud detection, and more. If you love digging through data and connecting dots, OSINT becomes a surprisingly profitable niche. Number 10. Building and Selling Tools Hackers love tools that save time. Recon tools, automation scripts, scanners, payload generators, anything that makes hacking faster can sell. You don't need to build a masterpiece. Even small scripts that solve simple problems can become paid tools if they help enough people. Developers who start small often become creators of widely used cybersecurity products. You can list your tools on GitHub sponsors, Gumroad, and Kofi. You can also earn by offering premium versions of your tools on your own website or by creating paid style security tools using platforms like Stripe. Hackers also sell custom payloads, recon automation, or unique word lists privately through Discord communities or Telegram channels. Listen, hacking won't make you rich overnight. It won't magically fix your life. It won't be easy, but it will reward you if you stay long enough to earn it. Every crash, every mistake, every broken command, every confusing error message is sharpening you. Most beginners quit right when they're closest to breaking through. But you're not most people. You're still here, still learning, still pushing through the frustration. So keep your fire alive, keep your curiosity alive, and remember, the world doesn't need more perfect people. It needs more relentless ones, and I'll see you in the next one.